Here we have an editor versus Tornado, a severe weather education film from 1955. Guess this film already got hit by a tornado. Five more hours until the turkey's done. Oh, good. It was an atomic bomb. Honey, stop staring at the Lamars next door. They're black, not ghetto. Jesse, you've been standing there for half an hour. Wish you had that kind of stamina in the bed. Over here, Helen. I better keep an eye on these clouds. He still thinks the Asians are evil Thank enough to hide in them. Thanks, Helen. I gotta keep watching the southwest side. That's where most of them come from. Until 1980 and 2013 were they when oh, where the fuck ever. Your way against it, even in weather like this. I've never seen one, but there's always a chance. You're in a movie. There's tornado always a chance. A tornado alert without some good reason. Oh my God! Stock footage. Operator, operator, this is emergency call. And this time it ain't about the Lamars. About a mile east of the Winton pumping station. Huh. Moving the war did sharpen his skills a bit. Yes, the bottom is touching the ground. But it's lubing, so I won't hurt anyone for now. Yes, that day, Elmville was struck by a tornado. A human tornado, so if you will. Storm on Earth. Normally, we can expect about 180 tornadoes each year in the United States. They can occur anywhere in the nation. However, the greatest number occur in the flat land areas east of the Rocky Mountains. And they target runaway girls with dogs. Each individual tornado is a violent local vortex in the atmosphere. The tornado's parent is a thundercloud. And the vortex suddenly descends. Ah, the corn, Oklahoma. Along the yes, there was a town named corn. Motion. The funnel consists of air and moisture to which dust, mud, and debris are added by the inrushing winds. Estimated to be rotating at speeds as high as 500 miles an hour. Nah, 300 at tops. Tornadoes are usually funnel-shaped, although they may take the form of a rope. And here's the winning paintings of the Laramie County 4-H Fair. Car. Although its sweep is generally only about 400 yards wide. No, 2013 El Reno long, was two and a half miles the big. The destructive power is appalling. Strong buildings are reduced to rubble. Automobiles lifted and flung through the air. Great trees whirled about like toothpicks. A riot would produce the, the same result. A partial vacuum within the vortex can cause buildings literally to explode when the funnel passes close to them. No one knows all the facts about tornadoes. It's 2018, we still don't know. But we'll film it and put it on YouTube for the views. That give birth to them. The presence of layers of air of contrasting temperature, moisture, density, and wind flow. Here we have the Such early days of Sudoku. Of may generate a tornado. Usually this does not happen. But when the clouds become unusually threatening, it is wise to take every possible precaution. Unless you're an idiot. Then we let natural selection work there. And it is the responsibility of the United States Weather Bureau to provide now is the National Weather Service regarding the possibility of severe local storms including tornadoes after that you're on your own sucker can save many lives and even help reduce property damage to forecast the development of dangerous conditions the weather bureau has established the severe local storm warning center at kansas city it the then moved to oklahoma and office, then changed its name specializes in forecasting storm conditions not only for the kansas city area but for all parts of the country Local so we'll be free tonight. What if the power blows away? Well, at my place. I'm not letting you touch me. Constantly, by thousands of observation posts across the continent, from local weather bureau offices.
come reports of surface weather conditions. The machine also tells you how lonely you'll be. Conditions, which may be very different from those on the ground. Ah, oh my god! Oh my god! Help me! Help me down! Radar stations scan cloud formations at varying altitudes. We also rely on the stiff knees of hillbillies. The beginning of bad weather as a rule. Specially equipped Air Force and Navy weather reconnaissance planes. Even on these, you can't smoke and the food and service blows. information on incoming weather. All of these observations are funneled into the Kansas City Center. Oh God, it's the knowing all over again. Prepared at the Bureau's Analysis Center in Washington and transmitted by facsimile. Damn, she think as fuck. Piecing together all this information, the staff prepares a detailed analysis of areas in which violent squall lines, hailstorms, and other dangerous weather conditions are likely to occur. We attack here at dawn for the glory of God and country! But to see it, if it actually does develop, the Weather Bureau needs the help of the other vital link in the network. The Volunteer Observer Group. And crazies like Reed Timmer who drive into danger example, in a tank. The head of the local Weather Bureau had organized an observer network two years before the tornado struck. The first purpose of the Observer Corps was to spot actual tornado clouds. And to not and try to, to shoot the, the sky Bureau like idiots. And movement. Another aim was to inform the public about safe behavior during storms, about avoiding false rumors and panic. Unless it's about Cindy, that sleazy harlot, they can lie about her all they like. were stationed about two miles apart, with the heaviest concentration southwest of the city. All were pledged to watch any questionable weather, to report promptly to the Weather Bureau any dangerous looking storm. And then ignore the Bureau's warnings and shoot the cloud whose farm was located southwest of Elmville. One warm, muggy day in May, the forecasters in the Kansas City Center became concerned about conditions in an area to the southwest. Did you hear about she Susie and the county? You told me six times. Still, she's a cunt. She's married, shit for brains. Alarm the public. But when loss of life may be possible... And that's how you draw a rectangle. Now on to drawing a circle. They felt that severe storm activity might be expected to the southwest. In an area 160 miles long and 80 miles wide. Seriously, son, you gotta let Susie go. Try Amy in HR. She's open like a book. Was Elmville. The district There's D.B. Cooper in plain sight. The FBI is getting distracted by Clinton emails again. There will probably be several of them in your area before the afternoon. I can see that wife beater on that guy on the left. Looks like it'd be right in here. So have you heard? Dog Susie again, I'll have you fired. Let me get that out on the press radio right away. Jackass. A severe weather forecast was issued for the Elmville area. All public outlets were advised. Police, radio and television stations, and news networks. Dear Mom and Dad, I've been in sleepaway camp for almost three weeks, and I'm getting very scared. This was not a tornado warning. Its purpose was merely to alert the public to the possibility of a tornado occurring somewhere in the Elmville area. We interrupt this newscast to bring you this severe weather forecast issued by the United States Weather Bureau at Elmville. There are indications that locally severe thunderstorms will southward back to the west border of Wallaby. Did they seriously the interrupt area guiding area light for this shit? Reacted calmly. They had learned from the network's information program that this alert you spin this coffee, didn't you? Conditions existed. That no tornado the had diner got negative reviews on Yelp. They knew that experienced observers were at their stations watching. That if and when a tornado developed, they would be warned. So they went about their business as usual. This guy asked for the Tom Hanks cut. Every radio and TV set in the area was turned on. Mid-afternoon, towering thunderheads had appeared with a sickly greenish black color. And then the Columbia Pictures logo happened. On Jesse Brummett's farm, a heavy rain was falling. Help clean the shit out of the cow pasture. To watch from his kitchen. Then, at three Five more minutes. Uh, fuck, God damn it! I'm repeating myself! Is Brummett, Mr. 
Powell. A tornado about a mile east of Winton Pumping Station. A mile east of Winton Pumping Station. Looks like a bad one. Okay, we'll take it from there. We got a big one, boys! This was it. Brummett's call gave Elmville nearly 30 minutes to get ready. But the wife took an hour, so dinner was canceled. Issued an immediate tornado warning to all communities in the path of the storm. Here's your homework assignments. Do tomorrow. Dear President Trump, go fuck yourself. Stop calling. We don't know a Dorothy or a Toto. The exact location of the tornado was flashed to the nearest radar station, which began to track it. He's secretly looking at a burlesque show. What they saw were echoes from a number of storms over a radius of many miles. But most important... Tell me what you see in this ink splat. The shaped echo of the tornado cloud Brummett had spotted. Now... They could follow its path. Who's been drawing dicks? Of speed or direction. Meanwhile, warned by television, radio, and telephone, the public followed tornado safety rules. Those with storm cellars had the best protection. People in open country sought ditches or ravines, lying flat in a. Hey, you guys, blind look! One of the greatest hazards: flying debris, as deadly as shrapnel. In homes, doors and windows on the north and east sides were opened to help reduce damage to the building. And to cause the most damage possible. Don't be an idiot and do this. Families took shelter in the southwest corner of their homes. Night of the Twisters the totally ripped off this scene. In apartments, office buildings, and factories, People moved to pre Any faster now, ladies? ...inside walls on the lower floors. And in schools, because of practice drills, the pupils went to their assigned places on the lower floors... This proved pointless and into the storm. Within minutes... The stock footage attacked! Elmville had taken shelter. There was no panic. But a lot of pinch hitting and death happened. Community. Five minutes later, the tornado roared into the city. Ah, Dallas, Texas, another vintage video. Then it was gone. As suddenly as it came. Have us to the best of us, sir. shifted and the air cleared over a scene of devastation. Property damage totaled millions of dollars. But no lives were lost. But the quality of life? Slaughtered. Without the Weather Bureau warning. Without the local storm warning network. Without the calm cooperation of an informed public. The toll might have been tragically high. I can't afford Nothing ten bucks for the toll booth. A tornado. Or any other storm. But the United States Weather Bureau is predicting their approach with ever-increasing accuracy. And so would the Weather Channel if they stopped our reality part TV of bullshit. The tornado safety program is in the hands of the public. Every community in an area subject to these storms should have an active local warning network. Or a grandpa with an if arthritic knee. In such an area, support your local network. If you don't have one, start one. The nearest Weather Bureau office will furnish detailed information and assistance. Such self-reliance may save the lives of your family, your friends, and your neighbors. If you are ever in the path of a tornado. If not, just run for cover. The same thing could be applied to Sydney to Town Slut. She should never be trusted with your man alone at night. Also, hashtag Cloud Lives Matter.